In this video we're going to look at how to do a six figure grid reference. Before you can do this you really need to know how to do a four figure area reference. So if you don't know how to do that you should go and watch the previous video called four figure area references. Just a quick revision on this map of Mission Island a four figure area reference. If we're looking at the area that's marked with the letter A uh, there are two rules that we need to follow to work out the area reference. The first one is that we need to go to the bottom left corner and the second one is that we need to go along the corridor and then up the stairs. So when we do that here we go to this bottom corner. So we're going to go across first until we reach our easting which is 18 and then we're going to go up until we reach our northern which is here at 63. So the four figure area reference for the area marked with the letter A is 1863. We need to know how to do that before we can do the grid reference. The grid reference is more specific than the area reference. So for example on this map that we're looking at here which is a blown up version of a, of a smaller map where each grid, we've made each uh, grid square much bigger. In the bottom left hand grid there we've got two, uh, two squares, one is blue and one is pink. If they represented houses and I told the person that I was going to meet them at the house which is in the area reference 1741 then they could go to the wrong place. So I need to want to tell them exactly where within that grid I want to meet that person. The way we do this is to take each of these grid squares and divide it up into 10. We'll just start off by looking at this area here. And if you have a look at that, the area reference, or well, I'll give you a second, what is the area reference of that shaded area? Okay, so you should have looked at the bottom left hand corner and then gone across to your easting and then up to your northing and found out that the area reference is 1742. Now we need those numbers. We need the number 17 and the number, four, the number 17 and the number 42. We need those in order to do the six figure grid reference. So we've started by dividing the grid up into 10 equal parts as we move from 17 to 18. So then we end up with uh, some smaller numbers in here that we'll call 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So each of those red lines breaks up that bigger square into 10 smaller sections. And now we've also done it as we move from the northern of 42 up until the northern of 43 we've divided this area reference into 10 smaller areas and we number those in the same way okay and once we've done that we're we're ready to uh, show you how to do a six figure grid reference now we're going to start with this black dot right in the center of that area and remember that that area is 1742 was the area. And we've drawn a dot right in the center of that area of uh, 1742. And you can see that that dot, as we go along our, our eastings from 17 to 18, the dot stops here at the line that has the number 5 on it. And then as we moved up in our northings, the same thing happens. We move up until we reach the line number 5. It's a bit like thinking of half being the same as 0.5. It's almost as if what we're saying is we've gone 17 plus 0.5 because we've gone from 17... Now we've gone 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and we've reached 17.5. And that's how we write the grid reference is 175. Down the bottom, uh, 
we're looking as we move from the the northing of 42 up to 43 we've also moved uh, up here from 1 2 3 4 and we've arrived at 5 and so the area reference of that black dot was 1742 the grid reference has these two red numbers which add a bit more detail into where inside 1742 it lies and so specifically we can see here that the grid reference is 175425. Okay, so now we have this blue dot. The blue dot, we go from 17 and we move across until we reach the number 7. And so we're going to have 177. And then we go up until we reach the number 2. So the grid reference of that blue dot is 177422. Now when we look at a map, we don't really want to draw up each little square into 10 different squares. So what we do is that we use our knowledge to estimate what the number is going to be. So we're going to first of all look down at the blue square. The blue square is here and it is in the area reference of 1741. Now we've drawn it right in the middle so that we can see the same thing working. When we know that something is in the middle it's going to be at about 175 and then at 415 would be the grid reference for that blue dot. For the pink dot, the, the pink square that is right next to it, we can see that we've gone beyond 5. Now we haven't gone all the way to the end but we can see that we've gone to 1, 7, and then we've gone to the number 8. We've gone 8 across. And when we go from 41 up to 42, we've gone up about 8 again. So we're going to be at 41, 8. So 1, 7, 8, 41, 8. You'll see that because they're in the same area, they'll have those same four digits. And these ones are just showing where within that area they lie. Okay, so now I've made it a little bit more challenging, but this is what it will be like uh, for you when you're looking at a map to work out what the, the grid reference is. So we're going to now look at the red square. So for this one I'll use my, my pen a little bit to help us. So we're going to start off by looking at what the area reference is. So I go to the bottom corner. And we know it's going to be 1, 8. And it's going to be 4, 2. They're going to be our, our four digits of the area reference. Now, I'm just going to say that as we go from 18 through to 19, there's about halfway. So we've gone a bit past halfway. Over here it would be number 9. And this is number 5. So we're probably at around uh, about the number 8. So if we wrote 188, and if you're unsure, it might be that 177 is also acceptable or 178. We know it's not quite as far as, as 189, but 187 or 188 would be right. As we go, this would be halfway as we move from 42 up to 43. We've gone a bit beyond that, so we might be at six or seven. Well, we'll say that it's one eight eight four two seven. Have a look now at the green square and say what you think the grid reference would be for that. Okay, there's two tricky things that we've done here. The first of all we don't have a full square and based on what we've done before our halfway line is probably actually around here. Okay, so we're probably at uh, about 194, and this is the first time we've looked at one on the line. So we're starting at 42, and we're moving up to 43. 
But we haven't gone very far. We haven't even got to this first line yet. So this would be uh, four two, and we haven't gone up anything. So it'll be four two zero. The best way to do these is to just keep on practicing. We'll look at one more, and then you should do some practice. Uh, so we'll look at this red city here and figure out what the grid reference is. So first of all we would say it is in the area which has this is at start. So the area is going to be 23, 63. Uh, as I've gone across, I've gone from 23, I'm moving from here to 24 and I'll get right to the end and so it's going to be 239 and the 63 I haven't gone up very far so it'll be 631 or maybe 632 uh, we'll say that it's 239 631 now you should go and do some practice of how to do these six figure grid references and watch this video if you get stuck